Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the best countries to visit when you don't have a lot of money. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at countries where you can travel on a relatively smaller budget. They're not always the cheapest, but they are the most reasonable in context. India India is one of the world's most recognizable countries, and is home to many legendary landmarks like the Taj Mahal. With such rich architecture, one might assume that a trip to India will cost a pretty penny, or a pretty rupee. If you're traveling from the United States though, you might be interested to learn that in early 2022, just one US dollar is worth almost 76 Indian rupees, though rates can quickly change of course. With exchange rates like that, you could book a luxury hotel at around $20 to $30 for a single. While the plane ticket may be costly, you can get around the country on only about $20 per day. A good meal will cost anywhere between $3 and $35. Overall, you could spend a solid two weeks in India for between $600 and just under $2,000. Portugal When people think of southwestern European countries, they often gravitate towards Spain. Portugal is anything but second best, however, scoring high marks for its beaches, tourist appeal, peacefulness, social progress, and economics. It's also one of the continent's most cost-effective destinations. One euro translates to just a little more than one dollar. While this may add up in some other European locations, Portugal is reasonably priced with hotel prices ranging from 15 to 80 euros per night. Public transportation is sensible with bus rides generally costing around one euro fifty. Given the elegant scenery draping every corner though, you want to walk around, which won't cost anything. The same goes for just hanging out on the beach. You can't put a price on Portugal's beauty, but you can get by on 70 to 115 euros daily. Denmark No country is perfect, but Denmark comes closer than most. The standard of living is through the roof, with residents enjoying universal healthcare, a strong education system, and an accepting community. That said, living in this paradise comes at a price, with Denmark having one of the world's highest tax rates. If you're only visiting, however, Denmark is, while by no means cheap, cheaper than other Scandinavian or Nordic countries. Most of your travel budget will go into plane tickets, food, and hotels. Since Denmark is about sightseeing above all else, though, the main points of interest won't cost a cent. A stroll down the Nyhaven waterfront? Free. Exploring the National Park? Free. By spending your money wisely, Denmark can be far less expensive than it seems. Fiji when stacked up against some other island destinations, Fiji is surprisingly affordable for smart spenders. Through Fiji Airways, a round-trip flight from LA to the tourist hub of Nadi costs around $800. Hey, we're not saying that's cheap, but it's a sweet deal considering that tickets to New Zealand and Australia are over a thousand bucks. Once you arrive in Fiji, you could live large at a luxury resort. If you're looking for a backpacking adventure though, Fiji is ideal for those with lighter wallets. Dorm beds go for as low as $10 per night, the same amount can be spent on food and travel every day. With Fiji's natural wonders being open to the public, one can easily survive on $50 daily. Lao Lao can be found bordering Thailand and Vietnam, which are also sensibly priced countries to visit. Lao has a few advantages, however. Lao is far less populated than the aforementioned Southeast Asia countries, with a population of just over 7 million residents. This provides more room to explore this country's underappreciated treasures, such as Patat Wong. This Buddhist stupa might be coloured gold, but Lao isn't as costly as its luxurious site might suggest. On a daily basis, food, transportation, and hotels should cost a little over 200,000 Laotian kips. Before you freak out, that's roughly around 20 bucks. You can spend the day hopping from temples, parks, and museums that won't charge you for admission. It's only more affordable if you walk or bike between destinations. Nepal There's a common misconception that Nepal is only for eccentric millionaires who want to climb Mount Everest. True, climbing Mount Everest isn't for penny squeezers, but the mountain views that Nepal has to offer are as free as the air we all breathe. That said, Everest isn't Nepal's only mountain worth conquering. This South Asian country has a vast array of places to hike, climb, and backpack through. It's among the most inexpensive destinations in Asia, with a daily budget estimated around 4,000 Nepali rupees, which translates to not much more than $30. Even the capital of Kathmandu is a bargain. You could spend several days in Nepal without going over $500, taking full advantage of the country's picturesque temples, lakes, and, of course, mountains. Egypt 
Egypt is another trip that one would expect to be exclusively catered to the ultra wealthy. Maybe that's because landmarks like the Great Pyramid and the Sphinx possess such a regal presence. I mean, just standing in front of them, you feel as if you're spending a fortune. In reality, a tour group can take you on an Egyptian adventure for only $80 or so. That particular tour includes a camel ride around the pyramids, although it will cost you more to venture inside. A Nile River cruise may be expensive, but spending a day snorkeling with dolphins in Haggadah can go for just 30 bucks. Since Egypt is loaded with such rich history, you might as well get a free lesson at the Museum of Egyptian Antiquities. Bulgaria We've all dreamed of taking a European vacation. For many of us though, it's always seemed out of our price range. Of course, people sometimes forget that there's more to Europe than France, Italy and the United Kingdom. Bulgaria has all the amenities one would desire in a European adventure. Exquisite architecture, radiant natural landscapes, and towns that range from sweepingly vast to quaint. What separates Bulgaria from some other countries in Europe is the price. Instead of euros, the Bulgarian lev is the country's currency, and the exchange rate makes this amazing country amazingly affordable, for the most part. The average hotel price for a week's stay should come in at under $800, which is not bad. Bolivia For a South American vacation, Argentina, Brazil and Chile are towards the top in terms of high budgets. Bolivia provides a lower price tag, but it doesn't skimp on all the pleasures that come with the South American package. There are plentiful lakes to swim in, colourful cities to observe from cable cars, and breathtaking roads to bike across. Actually, Yungus Road may literally take your breath away, as it's been described as the world's most dangerous road. If that sounds a bit too intimidating, perhaps you prefer traversing the salt flat paradise of Sala de Uyuni, exploring the haunting train graveyard, or observing the flamingos of Laguna, Colorado. And how much will all of this cost? Well, around $45 a day sounds practical. Cambodia Near Lao is Cambodia, home to incredible landmarks like Angkor Wat and the city of Phnom Penh. If you had to guess based on these awe-inspiring images, how much do you think a day in Cambodia would cost? A few hundred dollars minimum? Try more like $50. That's about 200,000 real, the Cambodian currency. And honestly, you could even go lower if you knew where to sniff out a good deal. We're talking a dollar for a filling meal, five dollars for a night at a hotel, and seven for train tickets, coming out to less than 20 US dollars. It may be among the cheapest trips you can take, but it's also one of the most rewarding. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.